Welcome back. Today we're going to do a little unboxing here and a little test of a new lavalier microphone that I picked up on Amazon. It is the DT V-Lab lavalier microphone. And I'll just read off the back of the box here. So in the box comes the V-Lab microphone, a fox fur windshield, i.e. dead cat, a carrying pouch, a foam windscreen, and the microphone tie clip so you can put it on your your lapel or wherever you want to put it. So let's open this thing up, uh, see what's in the box. Uh, I purchased this uh, on Amazon about a month or so ago. Uh, I didn't have an opportunity to use it yet. Uh, it was $39 then, it's $39 now. Uh, the price is pretty consistent on this product, uh, which is a good thing. So we just cut the seal there. Let's pop open the box. And what we got? Oh, look at this. Got some paperwork. A QC sticker. And a little pouch. With some silica gel for your uh, chewing pleasure. Do not eat this. So, here's a little pouch. It has a little belt clip or clip that goes on the side of your, um, your camera bag. Which is really convenient. It's all well packed in there nice. It will not get packed in there like that again, I'm sure. So let's pull this out. Oh, wait, it's tight. And there it goes. It comes out. A little extra foam cover was in the bottom, a little crushed. And nothing else is in there. So what do we got here? We have a nice little Velcro wrap, and this is pretty long. Look at the length of this. Oh my God. I mean, you actually can put this on and have a, uh, have it pretty far away from the camera. Um, so let's take a second here. I'm gonna put this, um, put this camera here on pause. We're gonna plug it into the side of my Sony ZV-1. Uh, hopefully it's the right um, uh, set, set up as a three rings. So he has a tip, ring, ring. So we'll see if that's the right one. All right, so just bear with me one second and we're gonna try this out on my Sony ZV-1. Okay, we're back. I hooked this up to the Sony ZV-1. I plugged the, um, the plug into the side jack of the camera, uh, the microphone jack. Um, I see that I am getting indicator lights on the screen over here, so I do assume that the microphone is working properly. I'm just going to take it right now and put it on my lapel, actually my sweatshirt, and uh, this is how it would be set up. So if I was to do this uh, for a regular photo shoot, um, the wire would be either underneath the sweatshirt, the shirt, or the t-shirt, so it wouldn't be hanging out. But right now you get a good feel uh, for this. Uh, there's a lot of wire here, a lot of lead, and um, I can see that this could be a little bit of a problem. It can get tangled up very easily, um, so I'm going to have to find a system, maybe have two Velcro wraps here uh, to make this into a, um, a long length and then a short length of less than a couple of feet uh, so we can use it. But you can see this is already getting to be a bird's nest, and that's not a good thing. Um, so hopefully the video um, is showing uh, how this would sit and that you're getting a good audio uh, feel for it. I don't know how it is yet. I'm going to look at this after. Uh, if it's good, um, I hope it's good because uh, it was a, um, not an inexpensive or a cheap purchase, but it was, uh, it was a few bucks. I mean, $40 is, uh, is quite a few dollars to spend on a little microphone like this. Uh, I see that it does have a battery pack on it. It has two little button batteries. And I can see now that the indicator light is lit up and it's on. So I assume that's a little bit of a booster for it. Uh, so let me know what you think about this. Um, if you're interested in buying one, the link is below. Uh, I'll put a link for the website below also. And uh, thank you for tuning in. So have a good one and thanks a lot. Bye now.